Hi everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. It comes in 148 scale and here we have yet another version of the OV10. This way we have uh, OV10A Bronco obviously and we have US Marine Corps wide attack aircraft so we have US Marine Corps marking options as far as you can guess and of course we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review so it will be interesting to check uh, what markings are included how this kit has changed maybe we have some new parts who knows and we have this chance today so this is a final shape of this kit as you can see box as big as in the previous releases and you can check them all on our youtube channel and this kit number is 48305 you can see it written here uh, box size here you can see comparison with my hand box art looks quite good and shows the aircraft in this camouflage next here we have also some information about the real subject and kit itself so I will have to look as well so we have 245 parts and wingspan will be 254 millimeters which is not that big I would say for 148 scale and also here on the opposite side we have all five markings shown in form of simple profile files but obviously we will check them in a bit more detailed way when we will be taking a look at the assembly manual so as i said before i was checking the previous versions as well and this kit was really interesting in my opinion this is a good offering for all fans of 148 scale and you get a lot of stuff out of the box you get really good features and all this comes for I would say a relatively reasonable price, especially compared with the rivals on the market. And now we have also a quite wide choice of the aftermarket from different brands. So now I'm going to open the box. You saw that I cut the plastic seals. Now I'm just uh, lifting the top lid because it usually sits tight. So as you can see, it's not protecting, but it's kind of enveloping the whole white box which is actually sturdy and this one is now uh, providing all the protection needed and here is what we have inside so we have all frames packed into one plastic bag so we will be checking them in a few seconds i just need to place the box in front of me and open this resealable plastic bag okay so what do we have here a bit tricky to take out of the plastic bag thanks to small sprues which are flying around for example these two so let's zoom in and now you can see what i'm talking about so here we have the let's say bottom panels for both sections of this uh, uh, tail booms so yes this will be actually i think these are top and bottom but we will check in the assembly manual because frankly speaking i do not remember the exact design but here you can see that we have guiding tabs this will help you with the proper position of these things but maybe it's a quite smart design because uh, this way you will be able to avoid any unnecessary seams and gaps next we have uh, obviously bigger plastic sprue here i will zoom out so that you can check it whole and here we have a sprue a so this one is going with the fuselage halves this is actually the lower fuselage uh, panel which will be installed here and this way you won't have any gaps again but note that the nose cone is actually assembled out of two halves which is rather surprising here we have also instrument panels and another instrument panel is there propeller another propeller and various pylons which will be used on the aircraft if we flip it over here inside in the cockpit area we have some uh, minor cockpit features obviously more will be added with the separate parts and again we have a lot of guiding elements which is must have in such model in 148 scale it might be tricky in some cases so that's why it's good to see them here next we continue with the big sprue and here i think the 
Well, the most noticeable part is the cockpit four, which is molded as a single piece part. We also have here the fuel tanks, wing mechanization here as well, and also some parts for the cockpit again, some parts for the landing gear. Here you can see cockpit side consoles, and these are landing gear legs and various items which will be used in this area. If you flip it over, here again we have a lot of guiding elements. So overall design is quite well thought I would say so there is nothing to be afraid of for example here you can see these tail booms and both are molded together with tail fin obviously but uh, we have separate rudder as you remember we have also separate roller sections and if I flip it over here we have guiding elements which will help you with alignment and by the way the external features they look really gorgeous here even though this is a 148 scale we have a lot of rivets maybe I will place it on my hand so that you can see what I'm talking about so all these rivets yes they might be a bit tricky if you like sending a lot but otherwise I don't think it will be actually a problem it's actually a good thing next we have two sprues with external armament for this aircraft so here you can see them I will leave one on the table so here we have various missile launchers and also some bombs as far as you can see together with pylons and here we have also tail fins so everything looks nice and that's really cool that we have this as a standard we do not have to buy it, we do not have to search for it, it's actually included in the standard packaging. Next, another pair of the sprues, this is actually sprue E. So here again we have wing mechanization, I will leave only one on the table obviously. So as I said, wing mechanization, which should be glued out of several parts, we also have some parts for the engine gondolas. There are no engines, because I think, well, in this aircraft it won't be that cool feature in my opinion. And maybe some aftermarket producers will come up with the engine, but here it is not included. The whole cold link will be completely enclosed. And here if you flip it over, you can see these guiding tabs, which will help you with position of this um, mechanization parts together. Okay, next we continue with the clear frame. So here we have canopy parts and they are molded in a very nice quality. I like what we are getting recently from ICM because there are no issues with the clear elements and here you can see it with your own eyes. These parts look like real glass. The only thing is uh, masks. I'm not sure if they are included here. Well, masks are for sure not included, but I'm not sure about the templates because recently ICM started including the masking templates, but some kits do not feature them even though they came out recently. You can see it in our recent video reviews so we will see in case of this one next we continue with the tail wing which will be between tail booms and another tail boom obviously and here you can see it from the opposite side okay and one more sprue i would say the last one so here we have sprue c this one comes with the main wing and overall design i would say is something what you will expect from this element on the aircraft it's just a matter of careful assembly and of course uh, separate wing mechanization is a welcome feature because uh, you can let's say position it in uh, different ways and in 148 scale it plays a role especially if you have some diorama ideas or maybe you would like to you know, copy in flight position but it will require a lot of modifications keep it in mind uh, okay so here we have decals if I zoom in you can see what we have here uh, it's quite cool that we have Marines written in different colors so you don't have to adapt it somehow here we have decals for instrument panels no seat belt decals so again this is a really good reason to go and get the P parts because it will add a lot of stuff and it will be visible even with the closed canopy but just to see how the whole aircraft is assembled, here we have assembly manual. So this one is printed in form of large brochure and I would say that's a standard format for ACM. We have short history note here, colors chart, technical specifications and also paint set recommended because uh, ICM started producing paints. I used some of them in my build so I definitely recommend to try them because this is a really cool thing and they work nicely both in airbrushing and brushing uh, on the models. So here we continue with the parts map you can see so basically this bottom parts will not be used it's just a different version. 
but still a lot of stuff will stay untouched so that's why pay attention and assembly process starts with the pilot seat so here we have to assemble it and obviously you will have to do it twice because it's a double seater and then install it onto the fuselage now uh, well cockpit floor not onto the fuselage and also here you can see that the separate front wall uh, between the seats will be installed here together with the instrument panel by the way next we continue with more parts in the cockpit so from what i see here it's quite nicely detailed cockpit if you have some painting skills you can bring out a lot of features and make it look even better here we continue with more parts by the way note that you have to drill some holes in the fuselage nose section and then we start assembling the fuselage together so that's the lower section going into place then we have one page here so that's the nose landing gear and also this gun barrels main wing starts building up so here you can see all the mechanization separately note that manufacturer does not suggest that you can position the um, let's say wing mechanization but obviously if you have some reference photos you can go with it next we install the canopy parts so here again canopy is assembled in a closed position no other option is offered but if you know what to do you can open the cockpit next we start working on the tail booms so here we also have some modifications dependent on the camouflage you will be copying so pay attention and decide it in advance so that you can uh, also uh, pick the right assembly approach next here we have the rudder being installed so tail wing being glued and then all this stuff being connected with the fuselage propeller is being installed here various minor elements and also the screen wiper here we have the landing gear being assembled so yes we have the masking template and that's really cool because with such large clear areas it's always good to have uh, you know, proper masks let's say here we have the armament assembly and of course the loadout scheme as well as the painting guide for this armament and then we continue with the first two marking options so these ones are i would say something what i would expect from bronco but then we have two more here this sand covered might be an interesting thing to copy as you can see it's 1991 and then we have one more here from uh, 1991 also coming from us marine corps obviously and this one might be also a good looking aircraft if you manage to work and build and paint properly the metallic surfaces so this kit should be already available and in my opinion this is a good take on the ov10 kit in 148 scale of course i'll be happy to hear your opinion so write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye